All right, so I've now been using this RGB uh, Red Dragon keyboard for a little while, and it has a bunch of cool effects. Uh, first thing I just want to say is to get the uh, Windows Home to lock, you push the FN, which is right here, and the Windows key at the same time, and that locks it. So that way, if you click Windows during a game, it doesn't open. Um, to change the lights, you have these nine buttons here. You push the FN, click this, and each one will do a different thing and then if you push it multiple times it will do different stuff for instance so now it does that wrap around thing click it again click another one try this one so for instance now if I click it it will ripple off of each other which is pretty neat but if I do that exact same one again just right there now when I click it, I'll just light up the one. If I do it again, home, click it again, and it will shoot just the line straight across. So there are a ton of uh, hidden ones that I'm figuring out. This one looks pretty cool. Random wave effect. And then this straight up RGB. Different pattern. This one's my favorite by far, just the random letters, and we'll switch between the colors. I'm curious to see if I keep doing it. So it has this one, the pastel colors, this one where it's lines, and then this one where it's random, and then page down. Doesn't look like it has another. And then to change the brightness, keep tapping. Whoops, I was pushing the wrong thing. I wonder if nothing was happening. There we go. That's the last one page down. Let's see if we can change direction. I believe that is the uh, color. Yeah, so it does the full color. If I believe if I click this, I can change the color. So yeah, if you click FN and then arrow, you can change the colors. And then the arrow down will darken it. Arrow up will brighten it. Doesn't do anything for that one. So you really have to just try out each one because certain things do. Certain things for each one. Different color. Oh, I'm just going to leave it like that. So above all, like the keyboard's actually quite good. Like it's not overly loud. I mean, it's not quiet by any means. It is a, a mechanical feeling. Like that popsicle stick. My girlfriend left here. She's a menace. Uh, but yeah, above all, I've been using this now for a couple months. I have no problems. I don't have any sticking keys. It's not too, too loud. And it works pretty well.